Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novora Artism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Okami as part of the Elite Six series. So last time, we were able to successfully clear out the remainder of the evil that was around here in these plains outside of Kamiki Village. And in so doing, we were able to help out the merchants who established a base, as it were, here in the middle of the town as someone just ran by. And they're still running, apparently. Yeah, um, we may have cleared out the evil around here, and the Sakura may be f descending from the sky, but that doesn't mean that we still can't practice on enemies if we uh, so choose. So we still have that option. However, um, checking out the map at the end of the previous episode, um, I noticed that there were four different spots that we could check out. Um, I'm guessing that these are spots where we can also... Um, do some more purification of stuff, and so m maybe that's what we gotta do, but we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna check these places out as we go along. Um, one of them did say Nagata Force, but I also know for a fact, I can see... Oh, the music's different too! Oh, it's Ross, I need... Oh, okay, I can't... Alright, do I have to, um, change how this looks here? Do I have to purify this thing in order to dig it? Eh, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I guess it'll take more than a circle to purify that land. Alright, well, there are a few places of interest that I wanted to take a look at around here. Um... One of them was a lake that caught my eye. I want to see if I can go and take care of that first. Okay, and there's more of these arches. Yeah, at the end, last episode, I also saw some of the arches, and they, um, you can get into some really tough fights if you go into them. So yeah, maybe that's what I gotta do. Um, let me check my map. Okay, so yeah, it shows I'm about to enter one of them. So, I'm guessing that these are optional. But I, I, I don't know, maybe one of you guys will tell me, like, no, you have to come back through these ar through all, and get all these arches. But I'd like to move on. I'd like to um, check out some of the other places in the world. Now, as I go and confront this guy, my path to a god of forests, um, I'm going to make some um, observations, as it were, about what I've seen so far with the storyline. And some of the storyline that I've seen to this point um, leads me to believe, and maybe you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, um, something that I've really noticed um, over the course of the game is that Amatasu still only attacks one hit at a time, among other things. Yeah, Amatasu still only goes one hit at a time, which is a shame. That, that really is a shame. Um, an observation I think that, that I have believe has validity to it is that um, I do not believe that Nagi, the um, person who is the legendary hero of this game, is who they say he is. Um, because of the fact that um, Susano um, needs help from Amaterasu, to accomplish what he needs to do, I'm thinking that um, Nagi was proved to be a lazy hero as well, and thus needed help from Shiranui in order to um, defeat Orochi all those years ago. And that he was such a lazy warrior, he couldn't have done it any other way than that. That's just what I'm thinking went down. Because really, I don't, I don't see any other um, logical means to the story. I, I was thinking about this um, yesterday after recording, and that, it made me think of stuff like um, Final Fantasy... Oops, I missed. I, I, it made me think of stuff like Final Fantasy X, where um, you are... Um, everyone's um, believing that Yevon is a god, and it's revealed that he isn't, and everyone's 
like all in love with him because they think he's the, like the greatest hero ever, and it turns out that he isn't. Okay, um, okay. There's Kamiki. There's Hana. All right, I'm still proceeding to Agatha. All right, it's, okay. So yeah, I'm thinking that Nagi is a lot more like Susano than this game is leading me to believe. Yeah, why don't you get in on the swell there, my friend? Yeah, there we go. There's a combo attack. <laughs> you don't see many of those in this game. Alright, you're dead. You always have to turn to stone. Seriously. Yeah, go down. There we go. Almost getting up to 20,000 yen here. That's pretty good. What's across this bridge? I'm, I'm curious, what's across this bridge? Um, okay, it just seems to be a continuation of where we've already been. Yeah, you go there, mail mailman. You go there. You go run like crazy. Anyway, what I really wanted to do is check out the forest. I'm gonna ignore you this time. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I see stuff that's not pure. Oh, can I feed? Can I feed you? Oops, no, I, that's not what I meant. Um, these look like boars. Um, maybe you take meat? No interest? Alright. Cause yeah, we saw some... Oh, I guess the boars take seeds too. I guess we're just in a place where a lot of animals prefer seeds. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, and the squirrels too. Shower your praise. More stuff for the astral pouch, and even more stuff for the astral pouch. Yeah, I want to see what's over here. I want to see what this is all about. Because I'm thinking that this is the logical next step, and we have a field that's not pure. Oh, come on, Amtrasu, don't be too silly. And that, that was kind of a bad use of the brush. Turn the camera around here for me. Get set up just right. Alright, now try it. Oh, oh, I think we're I think we're close. Yeah, because I was wondering, is it possible to do it it's all what all at one in one swoop? Cause yeah, yeah, it's difficult to be able to do that. Like maybe if I stand on the rock here turn the camera around, then change the angle, like, uh, no, it's not gonna let me do it that way. I know my circles are just getting sloppy, but it's good enough. It's good enough to purify it. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some sort of crack that's of interest. Examine. He's really cracked up here, isn't it? I bet he could be destroyed with a powerful explosion. Boom! It'd fall apart like a cheap souvenir. Uh, I guess some... But I don't have bombs, though, and I don't know where we could find any. Maybe we can find some in the forest? Oh, but I'm not, I'm not in position to enter the forest yet. And it's dawn. Passage of time goes really quickly in this place. The only way to get into a god of forest by... I want to see, is there, is there one, only one way into the forest? Oh, chest! Didn't even notice the chest. Got feeding. 
Spell drawn by Wonder couldn't see any use of this information. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing jumping into the water is the only way. And if not, my apologies, Amaterasu. Yeah, my sincerest apologies if we end up... Oh yeah, you, you don't like the, staying in the water too long. In fact, you get kicked out if you do. Okay. Then do I have to drop, build a bridge or something? Cause yeah, I got us right there. It's kind of laughing at me. Like, do I need to draw a bridge to get myself in there or something? Yeah, maybe if I read the, if I read this, I got a forest port. The ferry between Shinsu Field and Agatha Forest docks here. The ferry used. Okay. Then I know where I have to. Okay, so you are required to do all these purifications on these arches. Cause yeah, look how low the water level is. Is there anyone in here I can speak to? Hello there. Oops, my my bad, sorry. Oh, Mika. Oh dear me, dear me, this is awful. Priest of the Moon Shrine, huh? Alright. Ah, uh, our most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Yeah, you better believe it. Your timing is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak to you. Outside is Lake Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of the, it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. Yeah, I don't think drawing it in is gonna help me. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi and Shiranui once defeated. It housed Tsukiyomi, the fabled sword that keeps the demon at bay. That demon, its name was... No, I'll be cursed if I say it. Yeah, he, sh he who shall not be named. <laughs> yeah, we got Voldemort all of a sudden. Anyway, the point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the Tao Master Waka. Ah, I guess he's doing Blitzbar or something. On the one occasion, he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. Let's see, can we take a look at what's inside? Oh, we can get something from there. I don't know what we got, but... Yeah, we gotta make our way back to town, so... Yeah, we can't go into the forest yet. But there are other places we can go. We are being given a few options, so yeah, it does look like... Oh, okay, that one circle next to a got Okay, so they aren't some... They're just points of interest. They're not, um... They're, they're not all bad. Oh, horses! Oops. And let's see if they are into the herbs as well. Yeah, the horses like the seeds too. <laughs> How much praise? Some eight of it. Good on me then. Yeah, I guess we gotta do some more purification as well. I wanna use the save point in the middle first, before I even contemplate that. Cause yeah, if I start getting myself into trouble, then I'll know why. And we got some more coins. Or tokens, or whatever they're supposed to be. Alright. Back over to the origin mirror. Take a quick save and see how we do against what's coming next. Alright. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's go deal with the stuff that needs to be purified around here. 
All right, starting with arch number one. Enemies will have an advantage here due to the fact that this is angled ground, I do believe. Oops. Oh, and here come the reinforcements. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Also, I think I may have figured it out how to finally make Amaterasu attack at will. Um, I thought just swinging the Wii Remote was good enough, but no, apparently it's, um, left to right, or right to left, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I, I think I may have fi finally figured out the one mystery that's been driving me nuts all game long. Yeah, it's left and right. Or right and left. Oop. Come on. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm yeah, about to say, yeah, you're now attacking at will, and then all of a sudden, like, uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, put your guard down. Put your guard down there, guitarist. Whatever kind of. Whatever the name of your musical instrument is in Japanese. Yeah, don't you just hate when they do that? <laughs> Alright, now he's dead. Alright, that went well. And I think I may have finally unlocked the biggest mystery with this place. Yeah, purification on all sides, mandatory. Alright, what do we get in here? We got... Vengeance Slip. Temporarily deflect enemy attacks. Okay, so... Yeah, didn't need to buy one, but we got one at will. Or we got one just by being with the bad guys. But yeah, that's a huge discovery. Um, don't want to fight you. I want to keep attacking stuff around here. Alright, so that guy's gone. Um, I want to get up there. So I believe there was something else of note. Nope, nope this way. Yeah, here's another of those arches. Oh, gotta go through the other side. Alright, bring it. Oh, and it's, it's Tycho. It's freaking Tycho. Ah! Yeah, I had that coming to me. It stopped when I had the chance. And holy cow, he's almost beat. Wow, I've never beat him that fast before ever. Yay, me. And, sure, big guy comes out first, and then his lackeys show up. That's so typical. At least in this game it is. Whoa, get that ink. Get that ink. Oh, wow, I wasn't <laughs> dead in one swipe. Fine by me. Oh, Tycho number two. Oh, he burrows straight away. Now come out. Now up close and personal. Ugh. And he's burrowing again. Whoa. <laughs> A little more enthusiastically than previously. Yeah, you brought a little friend and I don't like it. Yeah, screw you, Tony Montana. Yeah, I, th I thought I had the secret unlocked. But I think uh, that secret may have gone away. Uh, unless that is actually what you're supposed to do. But I have noticed that this is... That the... Um, Controls can be very strict in this game. 
Man, that was quite a good amount of scoring there. Oh, a little pond. And there's praise to be had. So praise is bestowed. Alright. But we still need to take care of what's over here. So it looks like we're not completely done with stuff here yet. What a pretentious sign! What do you mean? Mommy, this here's a dojo! It's where people come to learn sword fighting and martial arts! I was about to say sword fighting. But who knows if they'll train you here? Maybe if you're a good wolfie, they'll teach you a trick or two. Well, that's not exactly what I'm here for. I'm here to... Oops! My, my sincerest apologies. I want to... Oh, I'm out of seeds! I'm out of seeds. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll come back to you. I see a pot of burning leaves here. Can I slash it? Because I don't think I can... Maybe I can put it out. Dojo. Let's, let's see what the, old, what the dojo master has to say. Maybe he, he does have something pertinent. Oops. Onigiri sensei. Well, what have we here? It looks like I have an adorable lupine visitor. My name is Onigiri Sensei, and this is my dojo. I guess he has to be of note. What business could a wolf like yourself have at do a dojo like this? Certainly you haven't come to study the fighting arts with yours truly. Hey, you never know. A new combat move? Oh, sure. Haha, <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, my furry friend. I'd very much like to while away the hours that play with you, but I'm afraid that this place is far too dangerous for creatures like you. That is, of course, unless you can cover the training fee. How much? Drive Fleet Foot for 10,000. Swing the nunchuck to gracefully move out of harm's way. Reflector technique, four wins. Add a fourth hit to your standard reflector attack combo for 5,000. Rosary technique, spirit storm. They use rosaries in Japanese culture? I had no idea. And the golden fury for 100,000 yen. Press the C button to insult foes and get demon fangs. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like this is actually worth my while. I'll be a monkey's uncle. You've got the cash, have you? I see. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. What are you up to? Um, other than turn your head exorcist style. Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. Oh, okay. So swing the nunchuck to... Here, that's what they want me to do. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the fleet foot guard technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Feet foot, guard technique, tips. Swing the nunchuck quickly and without hesitation. In doing so, you can quickly bound out of the way of incoming attacks. You will move in the direction you swing the nunchuck. You can instantly execute a dash immediately following a jump. Swing the nunchuck to quickly leap away from impending danger. Ooh, I like that. Well, did you understand? Do you understand the explanation? I hope so. I'll grant you this technique, Skull. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. Utain Technique Scroll. 
This technique can only be mastered by the best. It is not something to be learned. You must have the innate ability. Now, oh, good luck to me on that. This is a blind LP. Train until your muscles ache, then train some more. Are we gonna demonstrate now? Yeah, like this. Okay, for some reason, Amaterasu <laughs> wants to go up and le up and left. Okay, I guess she's only got a forward-only mentality. <laughs> When I swing it to the right, she moves back. Okay. Now now it's going. Now it's going the way I intended it to. Yeah, that's pretty good. Would you like to hear the tips again? Oh. Okay, we don't need to do that. Skip. Alright, so are we done then, I guess? Have I learned it successfully? Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf. Gaining experience in a single skill is admirable. But you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. Oh, you got that right. I pray that you do not forget that. Well, thank you there, Onigiri. Thank you very much. <laughs> Even though you're named for um, a Japanese food. I know onigiri is some sort of, um, food with rice. That much I am aware of and knowledgeable about. Um, I don't think I can go in there. Yeah, cause, yeah, I'm, as we've learned, I'm a trust who can't stay in water. <laughs> um, what else can we find? I guess the only other place we could look at before we go back to the arch is over at the far right. Well... It's not like I'm necessarily losing time in this Let's Play. I mean, it's not like, a, and I'm not don't have that much else better to do. So yeah, we're gonna go across the bridge. I'm gonna go check that place out. Can I also go over here? Oh, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it is. And some sort of importance near the lake. Yeah, let's go check this place out. Oh, maybe it's a good thing I did? Oh my. We found evil flying fish. And I think it's a good thing I found that nunchuck skill in time. Because yeah, now I'm going to be fighting evil fish. Well, let's get rid of the easy guys first. Did I get you? Um, yeah, I did. You obtained Demon Fang. Fang forged in Demon Hatred, Beautiful and Deadly. Ooh. Did I necessarily want to find something like that? Meanwhile, Fishy, you are hard to ignore. And you attack with your tail, apparently. Oh, I've got him almost knocked out. Oh, he's... Oh, is he trying to grab me? I think he tried to grab me there. Well, I made an example of him and his friends. And that was a good run. I'm satisfied with that. But this place is still notable. Well, obviously because of the house, I'm guessing. Legend of Orochi. Scroll drawn by wandering artist contains useful information. More ink. More coinage. Can I knock out this stuff? I guess I can. But nothing of relevance. So what's over here that I should be concerned about? Because I, I ain't jumping in the sea. <laughs> yeah, that that ain't happening. Oh, this. Another one of these cracks. 
there's a crack in this wall! And the faint breeze coming through it! It might be worth our while to knock this wall down! But can I? You're sure it all fired up, Ami! You really think of that hard head of yours that's gonna bust the wall down? No, I guess I should've known better. Well, at least we know what the noble stuff right now is to deal with. We have that one um, section of wall to knock down, but I guess we don't have the special ability that's needed to do so yet. In addition, we still have that one thing at the arch um, the, with the water and whatnot. But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised to find myself um, low on seeds, so yeah, I guess the bag is an infinite. The bag of seeds does not provide an infinite yield of whatever you obtained. Are oh, you gonna come after me? Alright, fine. We can fight. We can fight. But don't say I didn't warn you. Now don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, smack your butt. One. Whoa! Ah, uh, he got me anyway. Oh, uh, Amaterasu, don't start quitting on me again. Whoa! I didn't know you threw, too. Well, it's a good thing I stopped you from throwing at me and getting damaged. Your friend, meanwhile, is still at max health. And that sucks. Come on, Amaterasu. <laughs> yeah, bad news for you. You got your back turned. There we go. He's dead. I'm gonna take care of them. Ooh, maximum score on damage. But yeah, the, the guitar guys are so pesky. I wonder if there's other stuff for me to purify around here. I think it's probably my best interest if I go back to the suck to the guardian sapling, because yeah, it's kind of hard to miss out here. It's kind of hard to miss out here. We'll go ahead and take a save at it and call it an episode. But yeah, I think a review will be required in order to ascertain what will be um, needed for me to figure out where stuff is in regards to finding the item needed for um, whatever it is we need to get the lake level back up to where it needs to be because that's obviously going to be very important. But we'll go ahead and call the episode here because yeah we did get quite a few important things taken care of. Um, I can go and um, get that next technique from the um, from Onigiri off screen and then show it off in the next episode but yeah it's good to have something where we can actually yeah have Amaterasu well not do that but but yeah th that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I'm hoping that I can make good use of that but on this night here in Nippon we're gonna, we'll call it here and with that I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Okami and when I join you again we will see what else we can do to help out people here who need it. And see if we can also get the lake level up in order to get ourselves access to a god of forests. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew and Novoa Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.